name is Captain Greg Platts with Central Kitsap Fire and Rescue. This video will show you how to load and deploy our two and a half working bed, in which there is 600 feet of two and a half inch hose in this setup. With 500 feet flat loaded, we finish off with a 100 foot bundle loaded horizontally on top. We'll start with the loading procedures. Bring the female coupling to the front left corner of the reverse bed area. Start flat loading the hose with brakes about six to 10 inches from the edge of the hose bed. At every 100 feet of hose, move the coupling all the way to the left side, the driver's side, then pull a flag section forward to the edge of the hose bed to identify the 100 foot brake. Continue to flat load the hose back and forth. Make sure to move the coupling over to the left and add a flag every 100 feet until all 500 feet are loaded. We will finish off the working bed with a hose bundle. Connect a two and a half inch nozzle to 100 feet of bundled two and a half inch hose with brakes at six to seven feet. Tie the bundle together with hose straps or the seat belt strap. Finish off the load by placing the bundle horizontally on top of the 500 feet of flat loaded hose with the nozzle facing to the right side, the officer side, of the hose bed. Now couple the bundle to the flat load. You're deploying the 100 foot bundle, you approach the rear of the fire engine, grab this 100 foot coupling and break it, then pull the strap, shoulder load the hose and proceed to your directive. If you need approximately 200 feet of hose, grab the strap, shoulder load the bundle and walk to your directive. The apparatus operator will break the coupling where they need to. If you're overhauling two and a half, more than 200 feet, grab the strap, shoulder load the hose, step down, turn around, and grab the next flake. This will effectively deploy 300 feet of hose from the two and a half working bed of the fire engine. 